Elon Musk calls out Ross Gerber. Ross Gerber manages well over a billion dollars for all of his clients. Elon says he is utterly wrong. According to Ross, less and less people are buying Tesla cars because of Elon's behavior. Secretly, I think Elon wishes that Ross learns how to grow food himself. Rumor has it that Tesla is receiving close to 10,000 Sabbath recorders per day since the delivery event, which would be a huge deal if true, but is it really true? Annualized, it would equal 3.6 million Sabbath drugs per year. This seems a bit too high for me at this very moment. Tesla hasn't really done anything and I don't know, this number is a bit sus. Because there are already 2 million pre-orders, so you'd have to wait for a long time to get your Cybertruck. And the pricing is also quite high at the moment. I expect the pricing to actually come down. The source is Supercar Blondie website. There's this article that says two Tesla employees have revealed the number of new Cybertruck orders. And supposedly it's 10,000 per day since the delivery event. And here's the original source. It's from Matthew. Now, Matthew has been a pretty good source before. Not everything was exactly correct from him, but a few things were. Okay, now the actual source is not linked, so I need to dig and find exactly where he said that. Okay, and my intuition was right, but uh, it's still actually pretty good. So Matthew said that he has updated his tweet and it looks like it's closer to 10,000 per week. But think about it, 10,000 per week is incredibly impressive. That's about half a million per year. Now, of course, you would naturally expect the order number to be higher in the beginning, but I think there is a big caveat here and that is if you place an order, you have to wait for the Sabbath rock forever. So do you really want to place an order now? Some people do, but certainly not everyone. And on top of that, not only do you need to wait forever, you are gonna pay a hefty premium for that privilege of waiting forever. So once prices come down and wait times are no longer measured in years, <laughs> then I think the order volume will naturally also increase. So even though it's 10,000 per week in the beginning after the delivery event, I think it will probably stay there for a little while and later it will go back up after probably falling maybe in the next few months as some excitement wears out. But then so many people in the streets will start seeing a Sabotrek and will go, what is that? I want one. So despite the actual number probably being seven times less than the original rumor is still fairly bullish. It's just that the original rumor was so crazy bullish. Tesla bulls naughty once. Matthew add. I like Matthew, by the way, but that rumor got disproven really quickly. Seems like quite a few people thought the rumor was true. I like being bullish, but when I see that something is, I don't know, a bit off, I don't rush to uh, jump on it too much. I was thinking about adding that rumor into yesterday's video, but then I was like, mm, I don't know about it. Elon Musk just reiterated that Tesla stock will basically six and a half X from where it is today. I stand by my prediction that if Tesla executes extremely well over the next five years, that the long-term value could exceed Apple and Aramco combined. Elon continues, as I say though, exceptional execution is needed for this, it will not happen by itself. But who executes better than Elon Musk in the long term? No one. So to some extent, exceptional execution is expected from Elon Musk. That's sort of the default. Which is why my whole stock portfolio remains fully invested in Tesla stock only, among many other reasons. And when it comes to predictions, Elon Musk actually has a fairly good track record. Now, I know many people like to make fun of Elon about full self driving predictions. I think on these, he's just late. He's not wrong. But this one, he was totally right about. If you missed Tesla earnings, the highlight was Elon Musk sharing in the call that he thinks Tesla's Model Y will become the top selling vehicle of any kind in 2022 or 2023. He said, seems likely that based on revenue, it would happen in 2022 and possibly total units in 2023, which has happened. 
And here's another one for you back from 2017. He predicted that Tesla would have a higher market cap than Apple. At the time, Apple had a market cap of 776 billion and Tesla only a market cap of $51 billion, which basically already happened. So I have high confidence in Elon that he is going to be right because he was right before. And when it comes to execution, Elon Musk has the best track record. 